This is problem number 80 of the 2012 AP Calculus exam. The graph of f prime, the derivative of the function of f, is shown above. Which of the following statements must be true? The first statement is f has a relative minimum at x equals negative 3. Well, if this is the graph of f prime, then we know that f prime would equal 0 when it crosses the axis. So this is when f prime of x is equal to 0. And below the axis would be when f prime of x is less than 0. And above the axis would be when f prime of x is greater than 0. So if I'm going to have a relative minimum, if f is going to have a relative minimum, I'm going to have some graph that looks like this, where I've got a relative minimum. And that means the slope of the tangent lines will be negative. And we remember that the slope of the tangent line is the first derivative of the function. So I'll have a negative. And then I'll have a 0. So I have a negative, a 0, and a positive. And so I'm looking, if I'm going to have a minimum, where I have a negative, a zero, and a positive as I'm going from left to right. So let's look at our graph. If it's below the axis, it's less than zero is negative. So this is negative. This is zero. This is positive. So going from left to right on my graph, we see that we do have a minimum a relative minimum at this value, which is x equals negative 3. And so this first statement is true. That one's OK. Number 1 is true. And that's what we're looking for. Which of the following statements must be true? So number 1 is true. Let's look at part 2. In part two, it says the graph has a point of inflection at x equals negative two. Well, this is the graph of f prime. And so if we look at the second derivative of our function, if it is equal to zero, we have the possible points of inflection. Well, if we're looking at the second derivative, that means we're looking at our graph where the slope of the tangent line this is, again, first derivative. So the second derivative of our function would be equal to 0. And that's the slope of the tangent line right here would be equal to 0. And we see that's only going to be the case when x is 0. So it's not going to be at x equals negative 2. That would be a possible point of inflection for the graph of f prime not the graph of f. And so it's not number two. Let's look at number three. The graph of f is concave down for the values when x is greater than zero and less than four. OK, so let's look. Now, when we talk about concavity, we're thinking about the second derivative. And if it's concave down, we're saying the second derivative is less than 0. Well, this graph is representing the first derivative. And if I take the second derivative, remember we said that was referring to, in this particular graph, the slope of the tangent line. And if we want that to be less than 0, concave down, then we would want that to be values where the slope would be negative. So let's look at this graph and determine where am I going to have a slope of the tangent line negative. And it's anywhere on this graph where it's from 0 all the way up 
to our value of 4, which is what we have on our interval. So it says it's concave down from 0 to 4. That's a true statement. We have the slope of the tangent lines of that graph of f prime. Those slopes are negative. Or, in this case, where we're saying the, the second derivative of f of x is less than 0. So again, that's true. So our answers are 1 and 3. That would be letter E.